Hello guys, Greg back with another video on the channel, it's all killer, no filler. So today I'm doing a tag response video. This is my five most challenging fragrances in my collection. Uh, this tag was started by a fellow UK reviewer, Tom, from the channel Ouch110, so go and check Tom out. And I was tagged by Joe and Dan from the channel Wasps from the Loft. If you haven't looked at their channel, you've got to go and look at it, it's fantastic, really enjoy their stuff. Um, so thanks very much to Tom and also to Joe and Dan. Now, I don't really own many fragrances that I would consider challenging. So this list is going to be fragrances that I personally find challenging simply because they don't work for me. They don't work on my skin. There's something off-putting about them to my nose. So a better title for this video really would be stuff that I just don't like. Um, I'm fully aware that these fragrances that I'm going to show you are not challenging in the true sense of the word. Um, one in particular is actually very simple and not challenging in inverted commas at all. But this is just my take on this video. Um, the majority of the fragrances in here are actually ones that other people love, so this, this could be quite interesting. So, first up we've got one from Creed. And this one, as you can see, is called Acia Aluminium. Now this has probably got the most authentic amber green note out of any of the Creed fragrances that I've tried. But there's something about it that just doesn't work. The way that the ambergris is mixed with um, vanilla and also with fruits and spices, it's just off-putting to my nose. I find it a little bit stomach-turning, so I can't wear it. And for that reason, it's challenging, you know, personally for me. So that's the first choice. Uh, second one. Now, this is going to surprise people, because this is a darling of the fragrance community, but it just doesn't work for me. And this is Amouage Interlude, man. There's just nothing enjoyable in the wearing experience of this fragrance for me. I'm not afraid of big, bold fragrances, not at all. I love incense fragrances. But it's just something about this one. The way that the incense is mixed with a Poppinax, it's just not enjoyable. It actually makes me feel a bit nauseous. I know I'm massively in the minority on this one, but I hate it. So it's on my challenging list. Um, similar story with this one, actually. This is another darling of the fragrance community that I just don't like. From Nasamato, this is Black Afghano. Just smells awful on my skin. I don't know exactly where it goes wrong. I think it's a combination of different resins that just don't mix well with the other notes. Also, I don't like the use of oud in this fragrance, but I just can't wear it. It just doesn't work for me. I know other people love it, but not for me. So that's Black Afghano from Nasamato. And so my fourth pick. Recognise that jingle? My fourth pick is everything, anything, and everything from the house of Montal. I just don't like this house. I just cannot get on with these fragrances. Um, I've tried loads of them. It's just, you know, I've just not found one that I like. I can't hide that light exactly what it is that doesn't work on my skin. I'm just, I don't know. I feel a little bit the same about Mancera, but to a lesser degree. Um, but yeah, my fourth, a bit of a cheat, but my fourth most challenging fragrance is everything from the house of Montal. And the fifth one, now this is the one that I mentioned that isn't challenging at all in the true sense of the word, but it's challenging to me and I'll explain why. And this is Baccarat Rouge 540 from Maison Francis Kirchhoff. Now I've done a bit of a U-turn on this fragrance because I used to like it, but I'm pretty sure certain in fact that this fragrance has been reformulated because it just smells like a chemical mess to me it smells like it's you know something that took a few minutes to you know create in someone's bedroom they've threw, thrown a few things together and this is the result um when it was first released i did say in videos that it reminded me of a fairground because it had all of those great sweet smells like candy floss cotton candy um but no, it doesn't have anything like that now just chemical harshness is all i get from this one and i just do not enjoy it so as I said, a bit of a different pick, a bit of a different list all round, but for various reasons, those are my most challenging fragrances. Um, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I've got to tag some people. I'm going to tag Sebastian. I don't think he's done this um, tag yet. Sebastian, Sebastian from Smelling Great Fragrances. I'm loving his channel at the moment. His top 20 and top 30 lists are great. I also want to tag Nikhil from the channel Perfume Guru. I think the guy is superb. I absolutely love everything he, he does. So um, I'm going to tag Nikki. I'd love to see his video. And I want to tag all of the UK reviewers out there. There's too many of you to mention, but you guys know who you are. I'd love to see vids from you guys. Um, just quickly before I go, a couple of things. Don't forget to check out my samples website, fragrancesamplesuk.com. If your country's not listed at checkout, it's been available. You can email us 
at info at fragrantsamplesuk.com. Both of those addresses are down below. And the final thing is I've set up recently an Instagram channel, uh, account rather. Uh, it's been running for, well, it's been running for a while, but actively for about six weeks. So there's an update every single day. There's a post of the day with a, an image and description of a fragrance. I'd really appreciate it if any of you guys on Instagram would follow me on there. Um, and the, my channel, or rather my username on Instagram, is Fragrant Samples UK. So there you go. That's the end of it, guys. I'll see you all with another video very soon. Cheers.